wherever you are. God bless you today. Grace and peace be unto everyone. What a mighty God we serve today. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God is good. And all the time. And I. Lord have mercy. I am a witness. God is good. It's good to see Evangelist Delores Sauter in the house. Amen. And amen. I believe that, sir. Son, glory to God. All right, son, Slaughter. God, my God, Slaughter. God bless you. Amen. Good to see missionary uh, Lucy uh, Linda Merceli. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for all. Oh, Evangelist Smith is here. Praise God. God bless all the saints of God everywhere. We celebrate Jesus today. Amen. God is good. Good to have Mother Nunes in the house. Grace and peace. Amen. All the saints of God. Amen. Apostle Grant out of La Cida, Honduras and his beautiful wife, Lady Grant. God bless you. We expect to have a great time today. Amen. This is a wonderful day. Every day for me is a good day. Glory to God. My God, I command my hand to praise the Lord. I don't even have to. I let my hand praise the Lord. Glory to God because worship is what we do. Amen. Thank God for missionary Erica Lewis. Amen. In the house. All the saints of God today. Amen. God bless. Amen. How many expect a good time today in the house of the Lord? That's why we came. We came to hear a word from God. We could stay home and praise and worship, but we come for a word from the Lord. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. Amen. Let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we honor you. We thank you, God, because you are great and greatly to be praised. We thank you, Father, because there is no God like you beside you or after you. You said if there's any other God, you don't know him. And I'm so grateful, Father, that you are the one true, only wise God. We bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. And today as we gather together in this setting, God, we ask that you show yourself strong and mighty on the behalf of them that trust you. God, move by your spirit. Let your anointing saturate the preacher today. Anxionize him to flow in the sequence of your revelation. To speak, Lord God, out of the reservoir, out of the well of salvation that is in his belly. Father, in the name of Jesus, as he draw God, give him special download today, Father. For the people of God, the body of Christ, Lord, we ask that you show yourself strong. Let your name, O oh God, be glorified in everything we say or do today. God, send the anointing in the house that makes preaching easy. Send the anointing that make worship easy. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, give the preacher an unction, God, that he will speak the word of God with clarity and power beyond sweatless efforts. So, oh God, today we thank you. We acknowledge your presence, Father. Everyone that is home, God, maybe they're in the hospital. Maybe, oh God, they're in the car, in the park, wherever they are. Father, I pray that you let the Spirit of the Lord, Lord God, glorify himself in everything. Everyone, God, that is ready to worship you, to praise you, to glorify you. We bind up every contrary spirit today, every satanic sabotage, every diabolical conspiracy. We come against satanic resistance, oh God. We come against every satanic counsel. Oh God, I rebuke and I bind and pull down, oh God. I revoke every plan of the enemy today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shut down every plan of the enemy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, glorify yourself. Heal somebody today. Oh God, bring somebody out, God. Somebody need a word from you. And oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you show yourself strong. You are the most high God. You're in control. Oh God, this is your house. And Father God, we ask that you move by your spirit as you so desire and choose to do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let everybody say amen. I'm going to ask everyone to stand. Let's give the Lord a praise right now. Glory to God. Come on, just give the Lord a praise right now. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise like you love him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. He is a wonder to my soul. Glory to God. God bless you, Minister Terry Brown. In Jesus' name, God bless you, sir. Praise God. We have come into this house, gathering his name to worship him. We have come into this house, gathering his name to worship For we have come into the town, gathering his name and worship Christ our Lord, worshiping Christ. Say that again. We have come into this house. We have come into this house to gather in His name to worship Him. Oh, we have come into this house to gather in. righteousness. He is all my righteousness. I stand complete in Him and worship. Oh, He is all. He is all my righteousness. I stand complete in Lift up holy hands, so let lift up holy hands, magnify. your mouth and say, let's just lift up holy hands and magnify his name and worship right our Lord worship Christ. more time. We have come into this house. We have come into this house. Gathering in name and worshiping. Oh, worshiping. We have come 
come into this house to gather in his day. We have come, we have come into the to gather in His name. Oh, to worship Christ our Lord. Oh, Christ our Lord. Come on, church, let's worship him. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With my hands lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. Oh, I will bless the O Lord. Come on, everybody say it. With my hand lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord. With my hand lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. Oh, I will bless thee. Come on, everybody, say with my hand lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord with my hand lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. Oh, I will bless thee. A oh, little bit higher with my hand lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O oh Lord. I will bless the O oh Lord. Oh, with my hand lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O oh Lord. Oh, I will bless the O oh Lord. A oh, little bit higher with my hand lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. Oh, I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord with my hand lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. Oh, I will bless the O Lord. Come on, say it again. With my hand lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord with my head lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord. Come on, one more time. With my head lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord with my hand lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. 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 Lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord. I will bless the O Lord. 
Come on, give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I will bless thee, O Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask our minister Hanson if he will prepare a scripture reading for us this morning. How many glad just to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's so many other places we could have been. But God has been good. Amen. I said God has been good. Amen. That's why I love him. I love you, Lord. And I live my voice. To worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, take joy, my King, in what we bring, in what you bring, let it be a sweet time. Come on, let's do that again. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice. And I lift my voice. The words of you. your hands and say, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you, Lord, we Everybody say, say, take joy, my king. Take joy, my king. In what we bring. In what we bring. Let it be. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be. Yeah. 
let it be. Come on, let's say that one last time. Take joy, my king. Take joy, my king. In what we bring. In what we bring. Let it be. And let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be. Let it be, let it be. You know what that brought to mind? That brought to mind an old song that used to go like this. Is it? Sweet Holy Spirit. Y'all remember that? Sweet Heaven. Stay right here Feeling up with your love And for each blessing And for each blessing We lift our hearts in prayer And without a doubt Without a doubt Can we do it one more time? Everybody lift your hands there. Sweet Holy Spirit. Come on, tap Sweet Heavenly. Oh, stay right here. Oh, filling up, filling up with your love. And for each blessing. And for these blessings. Oh, we lift our hearts in prayer. And without a doubt. Come on, give him praise. Come on. He's worthy of that praise. I said he's worthy of that praise. I said he's worthy of that praise. Praise him. I got it. Thank God. Amen. Let us stand for the reading of the word. God is good. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Heavenly Dove. Stay right here with us, filling us with his love. What an awesome God. What a wonderful God he is. He's a comforter. He's our power cleaters. He's with us always. Amen. Let us turn in our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 40. Amen. We're going to read alternate verses, reading from verse 21 to 31. Isaiah 4, 0. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. All the time. And all the time, God, God is, is good. good. Yes. Are we ready? Amen. Alternate verses. Verse 21. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth?
that bringeth the princes to nothing, and maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. To whom then will ye like me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Encouraging words from the word of the Lord this afternoon. Somebody give God a praise for his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall reap if we faint not. Trust in the Lord and he will bring us through. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We're going to do this last song. How great is our God. How great is his name. Come on. He's the greatest Oh, to say, oh, he rolled back the water, oh, bump the mighty red sea. Oh, you there, I need you, oh, but you're just in me. Come on, touch, how great is our God, oh, how great is his day, oh, he's the greatest one. Come on, one more time. I've heard it I've heard it in Oh, he's the baby one. Forever the same. Oh, he rolled back the water. Oh, from the mighty red sea. He said, I need you. Oh, put your trust in Come on, one more time. Oh, I've heard it Listen, listen, oh, your excellence, Jesus, excellent, your excellent in all the earth, your excellent, Jesus, oh, your excellent in all the earth, and if the people don't want to praise you, your excellent in all the earth, if the people don't want to praise you, your excellent in all the earth. Oh, you are excellent, Jesus. Oh, you're excellent in all the earth. You are excellent, Jesus. Oh, you're excellent in all the earth. And if the people don't want to praise you, you're excellent in all the earth. If the people don't want to praise you, oh, you're excellent in all the earth. Oh, you are excellent, Jesus. You're excellent in all the air. You are 
of the Lord. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And we are so happy and grateful to be in the house of the Lord one more time to lift up the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. The songwriter said, how sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ears. It soothes his sorrow, heals his wounds, and drives away all fear. And we are so grateful and thankful for another Sunday. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if you're here this morning, it's because you set your clock ahead one hour. Spring forward. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we are here. I don't know exactly why we spring ahead, but I don't want to be left behind. So I'm going to spring ahead anyhow. Praise the Lord. But God is good. And amen. We like to welcome Amen. All of you that are here, we have any visitors this morning, we'd like to welcome you. Give God thanks and praise for you today. We also, amen, want to remember all of the birthdays here in the month of March. Praise yeah. the Lord. Amen. We want to salute you and celebrate with you another year that the Lord has blessed you to see. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I used to look forward to birthdays, but amen. I wish I could stay right here for a while, but God said, no, I got to keep moving. Praise the Lord. But if you had a birthday this month, we want to give God thanks and praise for you and your birthday. We want to thank God for all of you. Amen. That continues to do the work of the Lord, even amen. while we are in this pandemic, we are still blessed. Yes, yes. Even in the pandemic, we are still hopeful. In the pandemic, we are still believers. And we still trust in the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for all of you that are here today. All right, we get ready. Amen. I think that was it. 
Amen. Getting ready to hear the word of God this morning. We have a very special guest all the way from uh, La Ceiba, Honduras, Central America. Praise God is our friend that has been here on several occasions. Praise God to minister the word of God. Amen to us. And this morning we receive him with a warm welcome. Amen. Let's receive our apostle Hubert Grant in Jesus name. Amen. And now give it to the Lord, those hand claps, church. Come on and give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus one more time. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. What an awesome God we serve. His presence is all over the sanctuary. And somebody this morning is about to receive from God more than you came expecting. I see you're going to receive more from the Lord than you came expecting on this day. Honor to Bishop Brown and his first lady, Apostle Smith and his wife, and all the servants of God in the house. It is a joy to be here with you this morning. Amen. And Bishop said he would like to stay where he's at. Well, 13th of last month, the Lord just flipped me up one more. Amen. But it's all right. Amen. And God is a good God. Yes, and we honor his presence today. In your Bibles, Matthew chapter 25. Verses number 40. Grateful to the Lord for my darling wife with me this morning in this house. Praise the Lord. Matthew 25, 40. I'm going to be reading from the NIV. Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you do, for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. Father, we honor you one more time this morning for your grace and your mercy and all you've done in this house so far. We thank you. And now we pray, God, that your word will come forth with power and clarity and minister to every need in this house today. Well, thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. And somebody say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. Five reasons why we should serve God. Five reasons why we should serve God. Amen. First of all, how do we serve God? By serving others. In the parable of the sheep and goats, Jesus said, Whatever you did for one of those least brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. When we do something that makes somebody else's life better, in some way, we are serving God. Hello. I said, when we do something for somebody else, that makes their life or load a little bit easier or lighter, we are serving God. Some people serve out of guilt, duty, or pressure. But God wants us to serve out of gratitude for what he has done for us. When I think about this phrase, he made us, he paid for us, he delivered us, he healed us, he set us free. Yeah. He's coming back for you and me. When I think about this, we ought to be grateful this morning and give God our best in service to Him. I come to tell somebody to serve God is the greatest call upon anybody's life. Not out of guilt, nor pressure, nor duty. But because we are grateful to him this morning, that's why you are in this house today, even though you could have been in your bed one more hour sleeping, but for some reason you have said, today is the day that the Lord has made, and I've got to show gratitude, I've got to show him how much I love him and I appreciate him, and this is part of your service to God. Amen. 
Gratitude is the best motivator to serve. Because when you're grateful, you'll give your best service. Now let's see the five things the Bible says about serving God. Number one, serving is one of our life purposes. Mark 8, 35 says, Only those who throw away their life for my sake and for the sake of the good news will ever know what it really means to really live. Until we learn to serve, we're not really living, we're just existing. You make a living by what you get, but you make a life by what you give away. Hello, somebody. You make a living by what you get, but you make a life by what you give away. Hallelujah. So serving is one of life purposes. We are created to serve. Number two. Serving makes you more like Jesus. Isn't that what we want? To become more like Jesus? Matthew 20, 20 says, Even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life a ransom for many. If you don't learn how to serve others, you will never grow up spiritually. In fact, you will be a spiritual baby the rest of your life. Serving others, we show to God how much we love him. We put others before ourselves. And we go the extra mile to do for somebody else what we could have done for ourselves. Hello. Number three. Serving is the highest use of your time. First Corinthians 15, 58 Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. If you want to make an impact and leave a legacy, the highest use of your time is to serve God by serving others. Your service to God is never wasted. Can I say that again? Your service to God is never wasted. And the good thing about God, he's about to reward you for your service here on this planet. I mean, after all he's done for us, eternal life, sins forgiven, bodies healed, restoration, all the benefits and all the blessings, that's enough for me. But God said, that's not enough. I will pay you for your service to me when you get over on the other side. Be faithful to death. God is such a good God. You know, I'm thinking at this minute, just the fact that he brought me to my 65th birthday, that should be enough reason why I want to serve him the rest of my life. But it goes on. He said, if you are faithful till death, you will wear the crown of righteousness. And beyond that, if you are faithful over a few things, I'll make you ruler over many things. Somebody get ready this morning. The best way to serve God is serving somebody else. I know they don't deserve it. I know they don't merit it. But we are doing it because of them. We do it because of Jesus Christ. He is a role model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In John 13, we remember how we took a basin of water and a towel and said to the disciples, sit down here, let me wash your feet. And Peter said, Lord, I don't think that's necessary. He said, you I don't wash you, you have no part. He said, don't just wash my feet, Lord, wash all of them. Hallelujah. When you understand that the master of masters had come to this earth to serve us, what else do we expect to do for him but serve him? When we serve the least of these, my brethren, you've done it for him. Keep in mind this morning, do your best because God will reward you for your faithfulness. Not how much you work, but if you are faithful in what you did, God will reward you for it. So serving somebody else is the best way to serve God. 
Number four, serving is the secret to greatness. I said serving is the secret to greatness. Matthew chapter 20, verse 26 says, if you want to be great, you must be the servant of all. If you want to be great, be the servant of all. True greatness comes from servanthood, not from living for yourself. The greatest leaders are those who serve others. Hallelujah. And we just said it while well, Jesus is our role model, our example. He should have and he could have had others serve him. But for some reason, he did the serving to teach me, to show us that the greatest way to serve God is when we serve others. You are headed to greatness. It doesn't make you less. In God's eyes, it makes you more. Somebody need that tomorrow. Serving others doesn't make you less. Where God's concerned, you are really behaving like your master, Jesus Christ. So greatness comes from servanthood. Thank you, Lord. Number five. Serving will be rewarded in heaven. Jesus said in Matthew, Mark 10, 29 and 30. I can guarantee you this truth. Anyone who gave up anything because of me and the good news will certainly receive a hundred times more. Hallelujah. Peter looked across one day and looking at the world, he said, Lord, look at how good they're living. They got life made. And here we are, we've given up everything, and apparently we don't have nothing. And Jesus said, shut your mouth. There's not one person on the planet who left wife or children for the gospel's sake who shall not be rewarded in this life. Hallelujah. I want you to know your service to God. If you do it to the least of these, you're doing it to God. And God will reward you even in this life. Somebody know today that whatever you do for the kingdom of God, God take note of everything we do, whether good or bad. Hallelujah. And then after this life is over, if you've been faithful to God, over on eternity, he'll give you a greater reward. I want you to get this in your spirit. One of the ways to serve God, hallelujah, is giving up everything for the gospel's sake. Hallelujah. Many a times, uh, I leave my wife and leave my children to go to the foreign fields because God will have mandate on your life to go preach this gospel to every nation. And when you obey God, sometimes folk look down on you and think you're crazy. Why have you dumb this? Why you left your kids? Why didn't you just stay there? God had put a mandate on our lives as his sons and daughters to go to the nation and preach this gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And when you lay down everything for the cause of Christ, God is about to pick you up. I don't hear you saying nothing. What you couldn't do is what God will do here. God told me one time, you take care of my business, I'll take care of yours. And there's nobody in this world that can take care of your business like God Almighty. And so when you begin to serve God and you go out the extra mile, sometimes folk look at you and they condemn you and say you're stupid. No, you're smart because you're acting like your daddy. You're behaving like your savior. Somebody hear me today. Serving is a joy. It's a joy to serve somebody else. And even though you said, I ain't got too much, but if I could make somebody happy,
happy and make their life easier. Your little bit becomes much in God's hand. Service to God is not boring, is not wasted, is not lost. Service to God, everything you do, God is writing it down in a book. He's making sure that everything you do, He has it written down. So when you come over on the other side, God will open the book and say, Well done, my faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord because when I was hungry, you fed me. Sick, you ministered to me. Prison, you came to send it. And you say, Lord, when have we seen you in such a fashion? He said it as much as you did it the least of these. You do it to me. Service to God is what we're about to do if you want to really become great. This book guarantees me that if I be faithful to that, God will reward us with eternal life over on the other side. How many of you know this morning that just to look at somebody and say, God bless you, you could change their eternal destination. One smile and said, I don't really know what you're going through, but let me tell you, God loves you. And if you do that, that service, God will make a note of it. You know, there's going to be a lot of surprise in heaven. A lot of surprises going to be in heaven. Imagine one deed you did for somebody. And then God rolled back the curtain and said, look, you see this multitude here? The one deed you did for that person, that person life brought all of these in. Yeah. No, no, nobody don't give credit. Nobody talks about Andrew. Peter is the guy. But had that before Andrew, Peter wouldn't be the, be the guy he is or was in the Lord. So, in God's eyesight, credit is given to Andrew. Andrew said to Peter, we have found a Messiah. He invited Peter to come see and meet the master. Even your single word of testimony to somebody might bring them into the kingdom. And because of their life, 10 persons might come in. Because of those 10, 50 might come in. There's going to be a lot of surprise in heaven. So what I'm saying today is keep on serving God. No matter what come your way, you keep on serving God. Hallelujah. Oh, I come to tell you this morning, the best way to serve God is serving God others. And what you do for them, God say you're doing it for me. And remember, they might not be able to pay you, but I'm certain that God will be able to pay you beyond what you can even imagine or think about. Yeah. Here is the million dollar question. How passionate are you about serving God? Because we said early on, some folk do it out of duty. Well, I'm going to church because it's Sunday. No, I'm going because I love Jesus. There ain't nobody pressuring me. Ain't nobody got me by a rope tied on my neck, dragging me around. No, no. From the day I turned my life to Jesus, almost 48 years ago, because of love, I served him. Because of gratitude, I do whatever he wants me to do. Even when my flesh sometimes doesn't want to do that. Somebody's going to get that tomorrow. Yes, many times you don't feel like getting up in the morning. Especially like today. Nice and cool in my bed, warm. But for some reason, hallelujah, when you woke this morning, when God woke you up this morning, he breathed on your bed, wherever you were laying down, and you got up. And you said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to the house of God to join the saints of God to give God my best 
because of gratitude. Somebody this morning, what's your passion? When you got passion about something, you will give it your best shot. It doesn't matter how the weather is. It doesn't matter how the climate is. It doesn't matter what they didn't do. It doesn't matter what they did against you. When you are passionate about giving God your servant, you go the extra mile. Somebody today, God's about to reward you even right here. Right here on this planet, before you leave this world, he's about to reward you because he saw your faithfulness and that you could have done differently. He said, oh no, I'll do it the way God wants me to do it because I love God. Passion has a way of taking the best out of us. Somebody going to get that tomorrow. Passion has a way of taking the best out of us. And it makes you forget yourself. Unless we deny ourselves. Take up the cross daily. We cannot really follow God. Let alone serve him. To serve God is going to cost you something now. Don't get me wrong. Salvation is free. Thank you Jesus. But if you're going to live for God in this day and time, it's going to cost you something. You are going to many days have to tell yourself, oh no, we ain't going to do it that way. We're going to do it God's way. You will have to tell yourself in a time, flesh, shut up. I'm going to God's house no matter what. I'm going to sing and praise and worship and dance and give God my best no matter what. Even when this body sometimes doesn't feel just right. I dare to raise your sanctified hands and say hallelujah to God. That service, uh, God will receive it. Somebody know today, whatever you do for the kingdom of God is not lost time, it's not wasted time, it's precious time and God is keeping a book a record of every single act we do every day of our life. So when the opportunity comes before you to say good morning and be nice, just go ahead and be nice. Because you're doing it under God. We don't do it because of people. No, we don't. Most of the time, they don't deserve nothing. The ones who treated you mean and finger pointed you and looked down on you and misjudged you and said mean things about you. They are the very ones we are to serve. Let them know that we are not like them because we are like Jesus. And when you go out of your way to be kind, to be nice to somebody else, you're really acting like Jesus. And though they may not understand you, you heap coals of fire upon their head. They weren't expecting you to be nice when they've been not nice to you. They weren't expecting you to be kind when they weren't kind to you. But if we could do it for the master's sake, we're going to receive a reward not just here, but over yonder. When we enter into the kingdom of God, he to sit down in the presence of the Lord and enjoy God's presence. So the next time you are asked by bishop or your pastor or your leader or Sunday school superintendent, sister, can you uh, help me with this class? Brother, can you help me with this? You know something? I never say no to the work of God. And I'm giving you a testimony. Forty years ago, in the village, we were down there. I had a group with me. And we were doing revival. And God was saving and healing and moving every which way. And the sanctuary was a little bit old, you know. So they were repairing the sanctuary. And the wiring was bad. And the leader said to me, Brother Grant, can you help us with this wiring? Can we remove all the old wiring and put brand new wires? I am not an electrician. Knows nothing about it. But you know, I said yes and prayed. Went to work toward every 
spit of water in that sanctuary. And I was making the notes of what kind of wire, what number one we removed from a certain place so we cooked back the same thing. And it took us two days, but we had them back. And I was praying all day, Lord, when the generator come on, please let everything function right. You know what? It functioned right. Until today, the house is still functioning right. If you, anything for God, you say yes, God will give you the grace. He will help you. He will anoint you. He will instruct you. He will inspire you to do whatever you call to do for God's kingdom. And I said that to tell somebody, whatever you ask to do, what the Bible says, I can do all things. But most of us, before they finish, can you? No. You never heard exactly what they were going to ask you. Wait until they finish the sentence. Can you mop the flow? Yes, I can. And I've done this a lot of times, long years. Clean the bathrooms of the church. Many years. And for some reason, when it was my time to clean, it was the most nastiest bathrooms. But I didn't care. I was doing it for God. I was wanting to show God how much I appreciate him for saving me. There's no price on my salvation. It cost him his blood. And if God could go to that extreme and shed his blood to save me, I could clean my true no matter how nasty they are. I'm talking about service to God. A lot of people see us and they think, that we just arrived here just like that. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. You don't know the minute time we had to pray and cry. You didn't say nothing to them. You think all the great leaders just made it? No, they had to go through hell to get where they're at. That's why I honor God's leaders. Because they had to pay a price. I said salvation is free. Thank God. But to serve God, it's going to cost you something. You're going to have to bend your knees a lot of times and call on God. Lord, this load is a little bit heavy for me. I can't carry this one now. Can you help me? Casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. So if you are passionate about your service to God, you will render the best service. Now, please understand we are not in competition. I'm doing my best. And if you do your best, there's no reason for me to try to outdo you. Because your best is your best. And God will expect nothing but your best. Somebody hear me today. We are the people of God are not in competition with nobody. And for heaven's sake, don't you ever. Put yourself along somebody else. Don't you compare. Peter was comparing. Peter said, Lord, look up there. They got everything. They're happy. They're living good. And we here washing nets. We have been charged with temple taxes. Peter went on to complain because he started to compare himself with those outside. Don't you do it. You are not like anybody else. You are unique. And if you're a child of God, you don't want to compare yourself with the child of the world. You don't want to do that. It's going to make you miserable. And you might lose your salvation trying to fit in. Well, they got this and they got that and they do this. And you don't know how they get it. And sometimes I don't want to know how they get it. So be content. And Jesus told Peter, boy, you don't know what you're talking about. No one will ever leave anything for the kingdom of God. And the gospel's sake, who shall not be rewarded? 
in this life. Please understand that. In this life. And then over yonder, the greater reward. Passion drives you to go the extra mile. Passion causes you to ignore your own flesh when it rises up and tell you, well, you done done that ten years. Who asked you? Do it one more time. Because you're doing it unto the Lord. I'm here today to encourage somebody in your service to God. Don't you quit now. We used to sing a song in the days gone by. I came too far. <laughs> to look back now. Done been through too many things. God had done brought me out too many times for me to throw in the towel. I don't think so. I intend to serve him until the trumpet sound. Somebody today know that the master is taking note of your service, your work, your labor. And sometimes you might be discouraged. Don't you listen to that devil. He will jump on your shoulders and whisper, well, ain't nobody doing it but you, you know. You need to talk. Who asked you, devil? And if you don't know what else to say, the Lord rebuke you. That ought to fix it. You plead the blood. That ought to fix it. But I want to encourage you today. Your service to God is of utmost importance to the kingdom of God. And when you serve one another, you're serving God. God bless you. Come on, let's all stand and give the Lord a praise. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise for the word. Amen. Serving God. How many thank God that it's a blessing to serve? Amen. Now we need to give the Lord a praise right now for God is good. Praise God. We thank God for this word. Amen. Thank God for apostles. Amen. That break the bread of life today. Amen. Five principles in serving God. It's rewarding. Amen. We thank God for him today. Amen. We thank God for everyone. Will you just lift your hand, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you today, God, for your word. We thank you, Lord God, because you called every one of us to serve, respective of our position, our title, our calling. God, we are so grateful. It's an honor to serve in the kingdom of God, to advance the kingdom of God ahead. And we are so grateful, God, for this word today, God, to remind us, oh God, how important it is. Lord God, to be a servant, O oh God, to each others, O oh God, and to serve you in the kingdom. Lord God, we thank you today, God, because the blessings that comes with it, O oh God, it's rewarding. We are grateful today, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for the vessel that you have used to speak into our lives. O oh God, to remind us to stir up our pure hearts and mind again. O oh God, to remember, O oh God, that we are called to serve one another and to serve in the kingdom of God. We are grateful today. And Father, everyone that is sick in their body today, everyone that is cast down, frustrated, God, going through depression, oh God, going through, oh God, anxiety, we ask God that you touch them today by your power, by your grace. God, those at home, in the hospital, wherever they are, listening today, God, I pray that healing power and healing virtue will flow, God, into the members of their body, every child every muscle, every tissue in your body, God, that affected, oh God, by sickness and disease. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, those who have kidney problems, heart problems, Father God, I pray that you bring forth complete restorative healing in their body, Father. Regulate blood pressure. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we touch and agree today. Oh God, those who have inflammation in their bodies, oh God, infections, Lord God, Touch, oh God, by your power, I command them to rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we bless your name, Father. Those who look in a job, open doors for them. Release favor upon them, oh God. I declare and decree and come and favor. Oh God, we locate them this week that their destiny helper will locate them, oh God, that divine help. Oh God, we locate them this week in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the victory today. Cancel every appointment of the enemy, oh God, every satanic counsel. Oh God, every diet Diabolical conspiracy. I come against every stronghold in the name of Jesus. Principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness into high places. We pull them down. We block every attack of the enemy today, God. Lord, help us to serve somebody this week, Father. Oh God, somebody that's less fortunate than us. Help us to stop by and serve them this week, God, that will bring a blessing on not only to us, but to the kingdom. Lord, we give your praise right now. We thank you, Father God, those who are suffering with the virus. Oh, God, still having the virus in their body this morning. God, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, those who you have healed and delivered, that the affliction will not return the second time. In the name of Jesus Christ, I draw the bloodline, the protection around the people of God today. I cancel every satanic counsel, and I declare and decree this morning that this week will be a week of release, a week of increase and overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God, we thank you today, God. We thank you because you're a God of the impossible. And you do impossible things, oh God. You turn the impossible things and make it possible for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, enlarge the attempt this week, God. Ah, open doors that are shut before them, Father. Release favor in the name of Jesus, as we release great grace upon the preacher today, great grace upon his ministry and his family, in the name of Jesus Christ, that as you continue to unctionize him, to flow in the sequence of the revelation of God, oh God, that the unction of God will always be upon him, and Father, we thank you today, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and let somebody clap your hands and say amen, right where you are, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Glory to God, Brother Jake, anoint Brother Tony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody ought to clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Glory to God, glory to God. We're going to pray for Brother Tony because he need a special prayer. He need a miracle from God. Amen. First, he need a miracle from God in his body. Praise God. We need a miracle from God to remove the clutter, the fear, the anxiety, and the depression from his mind. Amen. Because sometimes when you go into a trial, the enemy bombard your mind. Amen. Clutter your mind so your faith cannot work. But how many know that the devil is a liar? I need somebody to tell the devil is a liar today. Come on, we might as well just let that devil know you got to take his filthy hands off of him. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch right now. I speak to your kidneys in the name of Jesus. Lord, we create new kidney. We bring restoration in his body. Restoration right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, do it for him today. Do it for him today. I remove the clutter from his mind. I bind the every fear, every anxiety. In the name of Jesus Christ, every oppression and depression. I told you, I command you to be healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, devil, I command you to take your filthy hands off of him. I command your kidneys to work normal. God surprise the doctor. Do a new thing in his life, Father. Shock him. You're the God of the impossible. You're the God that takes, oh God, all things and makes it possible. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to break out of that oppression. Break out of depression. Ah, the clutter in your mind. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we touch and agree right now. Ah, and we declare healing. Somebody said, I declare healing. Somebody ought to declare it. Somebody ought to declare it. I declare healing in your body. I speak it into your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak it into your body. Lord, I thank you right now. In Jesus' name, somebody clap your hand and act like it's done. Act like it's done. Act like it's done. Act like it's done. Oh, like you gotta act like it's done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to act like it's done in the name of Jesus. Somebody said, I call it done right now. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. My God. My God. How many glad to be saved today? Amen. I'm glad I'm saved. Glory to God. Amen. God gave us power over all the powers of the enemy. He said in Luke chapter 10, 19, Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's what God said. God say that and I believe it in Jesus' name. So whatever a man is, you shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. He said, these signs shall follow the believers. And we claim it because it's our portion, it's our inheritance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it shall be so because I declare it in Jesus' name. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Amen. God is good. We're going to collect our tithes and our offering. Praise God. And we're going to ask everyone this morning to give diligently. Amen. We also have today's Missionary Sunday, the second Sunday of the month. Amen. Where we collect our missionary offering. And some of you here today desire to be a blessing to the preacher. Amen. Somebody got to stand for him. Amen. You came and you want to be a blessing in the preacher's life. Amen. That's with you. Amen. We're going to ask somebody to stand for the preacher. Amen. The church is doing something, but we want those of you who would like to sow a seed in the man of God's life, all the way from La Seba and Durius, who speak the word of God this morning with clarity and power. We're going to ask you to be a blessing if you so, amen, desire in Jesus' name. God is good. It's good to see, again, evangelist Euphema Smith. Amen. That's, that's Sister Euphema. Wave at me. You look different. I can't see you with a mask. Glory to God. Glory to God. The mask really messed me up this morning. Amen. Because I acknowledged you when you came in and you didn't even look at me. So I said, maybe I made a mistake. So that's why I said to wave at me. Glory to God. Ah, so God is good. We're going to collect our tithes and offering. Amen. The deacon is going to stand for the tithes and offering. Amen. And Deacon Smith on the left. Amen. If you so desire to be a blessing to the preacher today. Amen. He's going to use the plate. Amen. That he have in his hand. Amen. And Sister Jasmine is going to come, or Sister Smith, anyone, for the missionary offering. Amen. Today in Jesus' name. God is a good God. I say God is a good God. Amen. So we're going to ask, amen, you to be prepared to give. If you need a tight envelope, just raise your hand. Amen. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Praise God. God is good. How many enjoyed the service this morning? My God is shorter than I expected. Right on time. Glory to God. To those who came late, tell them the preacher already preach. <laughs> That's why you must come early. God can shift it on you. Amen. So we're going to ask, amen. Praise God. We're going to ask Sister Jasmine to stand here, please. Amen. And take the plate and bring the offering for the missionary. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Just give her a plate, please. Amen. We're going to ask her to stand and we're going to ask everyone to be a blessing. We have to send money to Honduras. Amen. Haiti and Africa. Amen. In Jesus' name. So you, if, you ask, if you don't have an envelope, you raise your hand. You can get one when you come for the missionary. Amen. And those who, amen, uh, have your tithes on your offering. Amen. Please, amen, get ready to give it. Please give brother, 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 uh, Deacon, amen. Please take the envelope, what she have, and just give them for missionary at the same time. Please help her, sir. Praise God in Jesus' name. God is good. I said, God is good. And all the time, God is good. And I, uh, my God, I only have one witness of, I say, I, 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 I rewind. God is good. And all the time. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you came from Honduras. I am a witness also. And you're a witness, Dave. Good God Almighty. God is truly good. All right. All right. We're going to ask everyone to stand, please. 
Amen. Everyone stand. When you come up here, you can just take a missionary envelope if you don't have one. Please come. You already gave us or those over there. Amen. Please stand, everyone. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this offering today that we're about to collect it, O oh God, for the missionaries. O oh God, for your tithes, O oh God, we pray that you bless those who have to give and those who have not to give. God, as they sow seed, Lord God, and bless the servant of the Lord, that you will multiply, O oh God, and give them back good measure, pressed down, shaken together, will men give in their bosom. Lord, we give you praise and good honor your name today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, follow the direction of the usher as they come from the rear in Jesus' name. Amen. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. More Remember, Sister Jasmine is standing for the missionary department. It's like heaven, my heart overflows. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. The I serve him for the sweeter he grows. And the more I love him, more love he bestows. He stays like heaven, my heart.
that's what goes, amen. It's not from the church. So we need a few more people to make a sacrifice this morning, amen, and bring at least five or ten dollars and be a blessing. I notice some of you only drop a dollar in there because you forget, amen, and I know times are hard. But the teachers in Haiti, they live by the offering that you send and the pastors. So please, we're going to ask you, if you can, to come again and give us five dollars in the offering for Haiti and for Honduras, those of you who can, in Jesus' name. already blessed we thank you for giving god bless your grace and peace be unto you in jesus name let's all stand and receive a pastor as we come amen and dismiss us in jesus name god bless like heaven, my heart praise the lord overflows the longer i serve him is that the longer i serve him Sweeter he grows. Amen. God bless you. We thank God for the wonderful message this morning. Five reasons for serving God. And it's important, praise God, that we serve God and we serve him from our heart. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for the prayer that went forth after the message. Amen. Amen. And we give God thanks and we give him praise. Praise Praise the Lord. Amen. I believe it's um, next week, Sunday. Amen. I believe Apostle Smith will be preaching here in the morning. And in the evening, I have to go to Premier Baptist Church along with Brother Terry. (laughs) And some of the saints can accompany us. I have to be there for 4 p.m. to preach next Sunday. Praise the Lord. March the 20th for their 52nd church anniversary. Amen. And I'll be there. Amen. Next Sunday. Amen. How many of you thank God for being in the house of the Lord one more time? Amen. And that message was... Oh, yeah. Amen. It's, it's so vital today. The message was, amen, relevant for today. Praise God. For many people um, serve for the wrong reason. But when you're serving God, amen, it's vitally important that we keep at the priority, amen, that we are, we love God so that we can serve others, amen? Praise the Lord, and we thank God for that today. Praise God. God placed you here for someone else, amen, to be a blessing, to love them. And I would like for every one of you, praise God, everybody in the building today, I would like you to, amen, either Pray for someone else. Amen. Lift somebody else up before the Lord. Amen. Be kind to somebody this week. Let somebody know that you love them and that God loves them. Let's put into action what we have heard this morning. Praise God. Let's love the Lord and let's serve others. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for that today. Praise God. In today's world, everybody is for themselves. Me, myself, and I. Praise the Lord. But it's about other people. Amen today. And I thank God for many of you that are here today. Praise God because of your love and because of your service. The work of the Lord continues. Amen. Amen. And we're able to keep the doors of the church open and able to continue the ministry and to glorify God. Amen. Praise God. The, the, The verse said, Once you have done it unto the least of these, you have done it unto me. Let's not forget that. Amen. Heavenly, oh, I told him I'm preaching next week, right? My wife, you know, when she tells me something and I don't listen, she says, see, I told you and you didn't listen. (laughs) 
So I got to make sure I, I put that in, raise up. Can I get an amen in the house, somebody? No amen, raise the Lord. I'll be in trouble after that amen. But we give God thanks and praise today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you. We praise you. Amen for this time in your presence. We thank you for the word of God that went forth today under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I pray, O oh God, that we would not just be hearers of the word, but we will apply what we heard and become doers of the word. Amen. Loving and serving others. Hallelujah to the glory and the honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not to be in competition, O oh Lord, but to do it. Hallelujah. Do our best for the Lord. Amen. And we thank you for that today as we, amen, leave this house today. Some going to work. Praise God. We ask you, Lord God, that you would be with them. Help them, Lord God, to apply these principles so that others can receive of your benefits and of your love. Amen. Have your way. Thank you, Lord, for each one that gave. We pray, oh God, that you would grant them increase. Hallelujah. Abundance. Praise God and overflow in their lives, we pray, to the glory and honor of the Lord. Cancel every assignment of the enemy. Hallelujah. And let us walk in peace and in safety. To God be the glory and to God be the praise. We thank you and we give you honor for these and other blessings. We do acts with thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and all of God's people said, Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord may his face to shine upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go in peace. In Jesus' name. God bless. God bless. I know you can't shake somebody's hand maybe, but give them a hot, uh, fist bump and let them know that you love